to this video tutorial in which we will show you how to create and deploy blueprints using Fiverr Lab. For this tutorial to be successfully carried out, you have to be you have to have a key pair already and a network set up. You have a such as we have here demo key and a network we call demo network. So we go to blueprint, blueprint templates and the first thing we're going to do is we, we're going to create a new one providing a name and a description click on create and now we need to add tires to it the way we do that is we click on the name and then add tire we provide a name for the tire the region will be Spain 2, the flavor, the flavor will be small and pick an image such as this one the key pair that we already had on the system is here and click on next now we select the software that we want to deploy on on the on the blueprint. In this case, we're gonna deploy uh, the CEP, and now we're gonna drag all the networks that we want to have in our in our instances. We're gonna deploy both the private network that we had, and we wanted to have uh, access to the internet, so we drag that over over there as well. Okay, next thing we're going to do, we have the Blueprint template already. And we're going to create an instance and we go to Blueprint Instances and Launch New Blueprint. We are taken to the templates. We select the template that we could just created and then click on Launch. And we give it a name and a description. Now the image is being launched and this is going to take uh, a few minutes so we just have to wait for the state of the machine of the blueprint to be installed. Now it's installing. So after a few minutes, we we end up with uh, with our instantiation of the blueprint with the status installed. That means that we are ready to go and and test our application. Um, we can go to instances and check that we have an instance running with IPs both in the private network and the public network with the software installed and with our with our key pair that we defined previously already set up this is our public net, uh, IP that we have that we need to use in order to SSH into the machine so we fire up a terminal and we're going to do just that we need to use the certificate in order to log into the computer and then the user root at the IP and we're in and we check that we have connectivity to the outside which should be working all fine and we see that we have our private IP setup as well. So this is it. I hope you you like this video and see you next time.